Hey guys, uh, welcome back to Cuts from the Captain's Chair. Today we've got Jake from Ramble on. How you going? We're going to have some fun. He's going to do a bit of a throwback with a little taper. Um, so let's get to it. Oh, good <laughs> awful <man. laughs> yeah. What are we going to do today, Jakey boy? So with James's hair, we usually like to wear it back. We usually wear it pretty tight. Um, his crown's pretty heavy as well, so we like to keep a lot of weight kind of through here. Um, always like to leave a bit of length through here as well, so that just kind of helps carry it through. You know, a nice uniform line that kind of just carries all the way through. Drop it down a bit. Drop it down a bit, yeah. Yep. Let's get to it. Awesome. Bit of fun. Sweet, man. Right. So just start by just wetting everything back, just getting a feel for it. Obviously, it's been a while, so I want to get everything nice and nice and wet, get it all ready to section out. I like to use a lot of sectioning, not, not, not a great deal, but just I just find that the wetter the hair, the, yeah. easier, the easier it is to do. Just section it all out, I like to go from nice at the recession point. You know, if you keep your fingers here and here, you get a nice clean section, pull it apart, yeah. bring it down, bring it across. Same sort of deal, find your point, recession point, come down, separate, bang, done. Beautiful. Oh, I messed that up. So there. now that's out of the way. That's out of the way. Give it a clip. Beautiful. So, sorted. All right, so we'll just start by getting all this out of the way as well. Kind of follow around to the back. Same on this side. Comb all that down. So we, this is an easy way to kind of like build the weight of the hair. Yep. And just get the shape in all at once. So just coming in, yep. working with the shape of the head. It's getting so much weight. And just by using my fingers, like I'm keeping that shape. So I'm pulling everything down to the line. Keeping it. Pulling it out. But as we come down to here, you know, I'm always, that's always nice and short. So as I'm coming around here, I'm going to start, I'm kind of changing the direction of that. Still following that same guide, yep. but I'm now pulling it down. So you can get that little V at the back there. Yeah, still following that line, but it's kind of dipping now. So we're just coming across, pulling it in. That way that you're keeping that weight there. When I was learning, someone told me with crowns, you can always take more later. Always take more you off. You can never put it back on. It, you can never put hair back on. So yeah. once it's gone, it's gone. So work it down slowly. Yeah. You know? And if at the end there, if it needs more, take more. And now just marrying, marrying the two together. So now we're starting to see it come together from this side now. So now Jakey's work the sides down. So uh, essentially what he's done is he's removed a lot of the weight and a lot of the bulk. Because how long has it been since your last haircut, brother? Oh, two, two and a half months. There you go. So there's a plenty of growth here. So so Jake's now worked down the weight. So now we can start to see the shape. He'll cut the top and he'll finesse the sides. So we'll start to see this sort of take, take shape. Yeah, so now I guess it's just, um, just marrying the two together. Doing it this way, you've already kind of got your base length through here. So we'll just kind of start by yep. just taking this section out and then just doing your guideline, you know, so bringing it all forward, just straight down the center, getting all the biz out of the way. Nice and tight because we're going to go a bit of a looser style a point today, cut. bit of a point cut. I tend to do a lot of my stuff point cut now. Um, I just think it gives a nice softer finish, I think. Bring it up. There's your guide. So you drag with the, when you drag with your comb, you drag cut with the skinny side of the, yeah. the comb. Yeah, the, depending on certain hair. Um, yeah. But yeah, you, for, um, for James's hair, because it's quite, it's quite straight hair. It's nice and easy to get through. You come through like that. You can kind yeah. of see through more of the hair a little better. You can point cut a lot easier. Yeah. It pulls it all up together almost. Yeah. 
You look at that, that's already just sitting back. Yeah. Real nice. Beautiful. So we see him on this side. Now mirror this side. Pull that up, find your guide, bang. And there we go. There's the top. So nice and nice and soft. All the point cuttings just really allowed that to just just really breeze through. Foam tonic up next. So we've done the top. Just a spritz of this. It gives you just a nice hold and gives you an idea of how the hair's gonna sit without yep. really overdoing it. Yep. Um, just the way it activates with, with the, the heat. with the heat, it just gets everything. Dry. Yeah, it just gets yep. everything just sitting nice. Um, you can still cut the hair. Still it's cut not, the hair. Yeah, it's like not most, clumping up in yeah. your clippers or your scissors or anything yeah. like that. You don't want anything too, too heavy. But yeah, just dragging it through. Half heat. Just getting everything laying back. Just going with the shape of the head, you know. Yeah. You want to make your life as easy as possible, so. An extra two minutes on the blow dryer is gonna save you, you know, five minutes digging through, yeah. wet hair and... Someone said to me once, they said, if you wanna do a fast haircut, do a slow haircut. Yeah. So slow slow the basics down. And everything and else will come process, together. Trust the process and everything will click in like they go. Yeah. So now we've cut the top, we've taken the weight down on the sides. Obviously now we're gonna come through and we're gonna taper the edges out. Yeah. You can see where everything is lying. You can kind of see your guideline through there. So I'm just gonna go with just a big clipper first, just. Nothing too over the top, but an open three. Just coming through, coming against the hair. So this is just getting, getting the weight out of the way. And I'm following the shape. And just flicking out every time. There's a multitude of things that I find challenging on different days. Feeling the pressure, yeah. Of, of, of producing straight haircuts. Yeah, that's, time. that's, yeah. that would be the number one, you know, like, Maybe. yeah. Like, I'm at home watching haircut videos and, you know, you spend hours doing one haircut and, and then you look at it and you're like, crap, man, like, yeah. why, why can't I do that? Yeah. Um, just, rem yeah. just remembering that y you're your client's best barber. As long as you're doing your best, and that's all yeah. that worries. That's what I try and remind that's myself. Yeah. Trying to Judge, judging yourself based off what based you're seeing that. 15 seconds on Instagram or social media is not a true indication. No, it's so just you really got to sort of un you've got to forget what you see on social media half yeah. the time. Just tapping out the little little bits there. So now the shape of the haircut's there. You can already see his hair starting to lighten up heaps. So that's gonna give you an indication of where you wanna to fade to. You kinda of wanna meet and marry that all across and just everything from there down. That's what you got to play with. So just one and a half open now. Um, yeah. Just following that same sort of line. Just below the three. Just below, the, yeah. And this is the point where now I'll start to really make sure that everything I'm doing is gonna clear it all out. I wanna make sure that it's just as smooth as possible. Yeah. So that way when I start tapering or I start fading, I'm not, there's no dark spots. I just want to make sure that it's all, it's all neat, picking everything up. Once that's all sitting, that's sweet. Like that's happy days. Like we're good. You've scissored it nicely. You've point cut it nicely. You've got it all sitting pretty, but a nice bit of artwork's nothing without a nice frame. A good frame, yeah. So. A good taper now, it's the frame it's the, to the artwork. Yeah, I always say something like it's a cherry on top. Cherry on top. Yeah. Piece of advice I would say too is just, you know, understanding that your clipper is what's doing the work. You're not forcing it, you're just kind of letting it hover, letting it do the work, soft on the head. Better for your client, because they're not getting their head bashed in. And it's just going to give you a smoother result, you know, like the softer you are, the softer the haircut's going to be, because it's it's an extension of your movements. What are we gonna do now, Jakey? All right, time to do the taper. This All is right, the uh, papers for papers. This is the cherry on top. This is the cherry. This is the frame to the art. We're actually gonna do a pretty high taper and kind of wrap it around. I will start in the middle, work this way, and then work that way. Clear everything out.
So just coming up, just lightly flicking out towards the line. I anticipate that I'm going to need to give myself that room. So that I'll, I'll, where I start my line kind of incorporates that. Like I know some people come right up and they push. Yep. And that's cool. But I just found I, I don't want to leave myself any, yep. any, any heavy lines I have to kind yep. of dig out. I found lately that I really enjoy just using the half guard instead. Helps me bring it together a little. Yeah, I've never used a half guard personally. Yeah, I know. I noticed that. Yeah. I've always just used my uh, my open on my on my clippers. Now watch Charlie, Charlie from Lucky Seven. Yep. Watched his video he did with uppercut, and I noticed he used the half guard, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to give that a go, and it just it it solved the problem that I was having. And I mean, he's a magician, so that makes sense. Coming up, I guess about a centimetre. Making sure I pick everything up, you know. You want to make sure that you've really smoothed everything out, picked it all up. And I got my zero half closed. Zero half closed, yep. Just picking out those bottom, bar just, bottom ones. Just picking it. You want to stretch it out, you know. You don't want to push too high into it. Half closed. Just going below that line. So I just got my half guard all the way open. I had a little single chair studio um, for two years. And then I just took the plunge just recently. Been open for for a week at the new spot. Ramble on. With this, I like to dip it a little bit just at the front. So when we, when we line it up, we've got a bit more to play with. A little kiss with the shaver. I'm still following that shape, you know. Everything's everything's following that shape because that shape here is mimicking that shape there. And that's why it'll blend in and look real nice. So now coming through with my half guard. Not using a lot of my clipper. Just kind of using the corner. So now just coming through with it half closed. Same thing with my corner. Just picking it. This is the last of it. This is the one and a half that we've already used. So we're just finding the shape. Now we just repeat the process on the other side. So bad. What'd you do? Right there. <laughs> got you good. <laughs> yeah, you got a little scratch. Oh, I always turn the chair. That's why you turn the chair. All right, Stevie. Come with a sass. All right, let's have a look, eh? What do you reckon? Right. Look at the flow on it. It's not bad, eh? Flow on the turf there, that real dry natural finish just with the foam tonic. So good. And then obviously, look at this, the money. Right there. And that's what we're talking about. That's the frame. All this, it's all just been framed out. To all the really. subtleties. Yeah, exactly. Five, five small good things make a great haircut. You know? Plenty of movement. Look at that. Hot sauce. Love it. Awesome. Nice work, brother. Thanks, Jamesy. No worries. Cheers, brother. Did I miss it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm left-handed. How about I go from this side? Should we do that again? <laughs>